that's doing that again. Let me, uh, let me just fix that. I should probably... <laughs> it's fine. It happens. Sometimes it just needs a little boot. Behave down there. Hi. Um, I've been working on a lot of like automation stuff for the stream. Uh, I can do a lot of things via command now that I should. Yeah, it was it was it was a little confused. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, it'll you know it's it'll it sorted itself out. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I've been working on a lot of automation stuff, so I might actually show you all some of it tonight because why the hell not? Oh god, it's doing it again. Oh, I know why. I know why. Here, I'll just. We're gonna, I'm just gonna reset it for. We're gonna give it a minute to catch up with itself, and then it'll be fine. Um, hi, hello. It's group therapy night, and I uh, clearly I have my shit together. I do not, in fact, have my shit together. Oh, uh, let's see. We got lollipop in the chuckle fuck gallery with me. I see a Pop and a Wistie and a Fritz and an Amy and Karen's lurking to finish up her working day. I'm a, uh, hello, hello everybody. Good to see y'all. Um, Pup, I'm very glad that your interview went well. I hope that you, uh, you get that. And a pumpkin, I see you pumpkin. I see you buddy. Um, I'm glad you didn't get blown away in that storm. Uh, all right, let's, uh, there we go. Fake it till I make it. Yeah, that's 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 it. That's all I do around here. That's it. And, um, but yeah, so I have some fun stuff that I've been uh, working on. Ooh, you made something extra awesome today. Ooh. Um. All right. Let's just let's just do this. Let me see something real quick. Oh my God! It works. The thing that you did? Yes. I have it going from Cosmos DB all the way through straight onto the component for listing all, all of the all of the things. Nice. Did it from back to front. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Uh let's see something here. I want Lolly figured out the vibrator finally. Nice. Nice. Backyard's almost done. So excited to have a little putting green. Oh, that sounds neat. That sounds nifty. Okay. I'm gonna just, uh. Today was blah. Yeah, today was today was kind of eh. You you had a not great day. I'm sorry, Wisty. Hello, Liz. How are you? All right, let me come back here. <laughs> Ooh. We were just talking about this earlier today. I, I, like, I guess just like, I, yeah. Happy birthday, Liz. Happy happy belated birthday. Also, we don't talk about age, but congratulations. Um let's see. Where is my Oh no, 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 no. It's it's too late. We've gone too far. <laughs> the music the music has already started. Bum, bum. There it is. 
Eat that You're can right, of You're cranberry fine. sauce. Eat that can of cranberry sauce. Is that is that how the song goes now? There it is in all of its shiny glory. Uh, all right, let's see. What do we got over here? Do I have... Uh -huh. I have God's utensil over here. The grind back to 100k begins. Fair, fair. Oh. Well, uh, welcome in, everyone. Um, guess I'm just going to eat the cranberry sauce now. Mm. <laughs> this is the We Shop channel music. Remember how everything on the Wii was like... Everything that wasn't a game was a channel because they were playing into the whole TV thing real hard on the Wii. It's the Wii Shop channel. Hmm. A little bit of milk to offset the cranberry. I heard loaf. Mm. Mm. Is loaf on some of the cranberry sauce? No, no, loaf is not in the cranberry sauce. She's not allowed to have cranberry sauce. Uh, Liz, absolutely brag on group therapy night. You absolutely brag on yourself, friend. What amazing thing did you do? Mm, no. I have not let her try it because cranberry sauce is people food and I'm not giving love people food. <laughs> You're not going to open up that can? <laughs> Don't look at me in that tone of voice. This is this is Krakow's stream. This is what this is. And I'm wearing a frog hat. It's, it's just not question it. This is just how it is around here. Sure. You know, if there's anything that I want to do, it's wearing the frog hat while eating the cranberry sauce. It makes, honestly, it, it just makes sense. Also, hi, Danielle. Or oh, Bean's printing something. Ice Bear is ready to Tokyo Drift. Ayla, thank you for that cheer. I'm... See? See, it still comes in as a bit, even though they're like, oh, it's not supposed to do that. Mm. But it fucking does, doesn't it? But regardless of Twitch's bullshit, thank you, Ayla. I appreciate you. Hello, War Bear. He wants to turn one more time to the age that he currently is. All right. The inmates are running the assault. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is, yeah. Or Twitch is lying to the bot, which is more likely. I was raised in the South. We were taught there's two kinds of lies. There's lies of commission and lies of omission. Lies of commission, that's when you actually commit the lie and you say the thing that's untrue. Lies of omission are things that you don't say that you're supposed to say. Kind of like, you know, When, uh, when I'm supposed to tell Bean that we need sugar and... No, I guess that's just forgetting. I don't know. Listen, it's it's been a long week. It's been a while. Yeah. You had an amazing birthday with sushi and Cracker Barrel. Oh. And today you bought a record player with birthday monies and some bargain bin secondhand records. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Liz, I gotta know, what what did you get? What records did you get? Anything 
Anything new? Anything old? I like old. Dommy, there you go, buddy. That is one empty can of cranberry sauce for you. That's either four or five. I can never remember which one is which. <sighs> I'm not licking. I'm not licking the can. I'm not licking the can. Oh. All right. Uh, so I want to do. So I've been working on some stuff. Um, I've been working on some automation through the bot. Let me go. Yeah. So we're going to do something real quick. I'm going to go OBS scene source with video. OBS toggle big screen. Actually, let's get the big screen up, toggle, big screen, and there we are. So, because I can do this with Firebot, and my scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think that they should, uh, I can actually control things in OBS through the bot now. No, none of you can do it, so don't try. It's not, it's not worth it. But I can open OBS, I can I'll start anyway. the show, I can change scenes, change scene collections, start and stop the virtual camera, mute the stuff that I want to mute, unmute the stuff I want to mute, close OBS when I'm done, all that stuff. So like if I forget to close OBS, I can actually do that. And I can toggle the big screen. So um, one of the developers of Firebot, uh, Eric Biggs, E Biggs, he, Biggs uh, actually wrote the OBS control script. There it is there. I, I, I knew it was a matter of time before you just turned the fucking lights off. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, um, Biggs wrote the OBS control script for Firebot, and I added some things to it for, like, virtual camera control and scene collection support and stuff like that. So, um, I uh, wanted to go through and light up a bunch of that functionality for me in the bot. So... I did, and that's that's it. Like it's that's it. I can, yeah, I can do all this stuff. It's fun, and yes, no, no one can do it but me. Only the streamer. Roll streamer. That's my fallback to not do anything. Ah, uh, so any hoozy, any hoozy, what's it? Um, I had, yeah, that's some stuff that I added to Firebot. Uh, where's the... Where is... Stop that. There it is. So yeah, there's the there's the virtual cam and scene collection stuff that I added. And threw some new stuff in. Oh, I guess I updated the package lock JSON too. But there's all the stuff I th I added in for uh for that, so I could make it do fancy shit. That's it. It's you know nothing like just nothing outrageous. Um. What else did I do? Oh, I did a, I made a lower third command too, so I can change. So, the, yeah, she got you, didn't she? Uh-huh. That's what you get for making fun of me when she got you, when she got me earlier. <laughs> what is it? What is it, Lolly? <laughs> 
the, the little one guest bean, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she did. She <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Plan on getting some Lady Gaga, My Chemical Romance, and Lizzo and possibly Kesha. Nice. Pat Benatar, some Diana Ross and Supremes, a Disco Hits compilation, Bob Seger, Temptations. Oh, Liz. Liz, you're getting the good shit over there. That's fantastic. All right, so let's see. So I'm going to change this to group therapy. Uh, maybe I'll change this to group therapy night slash code. Yeah, let's change that. There it goes. Uh, so I can change the lower third. That's the that's the little bar down here. For those of you who who aren't into broadcast like I am, the lower third is is literally like the bar of shit that shows up on the traditionally on the bottom third of the screen. It's less than a third these days because we have higher resolution screens. But anyway, that's that's called the lower third. Is this shit over here? Dami, thank you for the lurk, buddy. I love you. I imagine you're going into your morning meeting. That will last for four minutes, and then you will come out of it and go, that was only four minutes. This could have been a fucking email. Um, so, yeah, this is... So, I, I've been looking at Firebots version 6 because um, the dev team is finally starting to get rolling on it. And, um, they've been wanting to kind of get started in a while, but you know, life happens. Four minutes that could have been on email. Oof, damn. Wisty, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. I bet you do, CKY. You know what I have? I have a dev environment for Firebot 6, and I've been starting to add UI pieces into it. So Firebot 6 doesn't do anything yet. Like the scaffolding for it is just getting started. But I've started adding in like a bunch of the stuff here um, just to have like placeholders for it. There are a few things that were in here before, like the commands here, some like things for like chat feed and the settings. And then I added in more stuff for the settings over here. But mentioned the record player is a pastel watercolor print faux leather. Oh, that sounds neat. My God, I am not the. Listen. You stop that. I'm not the lead dev on Firebot. You stop that. Stop that right now. But I have been starting to like port stuff over from it. And, um, actually, I'm thinking about, let me go ahead and do, I might go ahead and install Firebot. Um, Report this file is safe. Thank you. I want to keep it and keep. Thank you, smart screen. Welcome. Um, unify the cat. What do you wait? What do you what do you mean? CKY, you but you got to be more specific because I don't know what the fuck you mean, unify the categories. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what you're saying. Okay. Skip. Skip. I just want to be in the UI. Record player has Bluetooth speaker connectivity and the whole setup plus records only 80 bucks thanks to one. Damn, Liz. Talk about your birthday deal. All right, so here's all the stuff over here. Here's version six. I want to make sure like there's dashboard, commands. There's a chat feed thing that's in here. I don't know if it's going to stay. I don't know. I'm... You know, I'm just starting to fill in some of the gaps here just so it's there. And you can see like events, timers, channel rewards, preset effect list, hotkeys, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So I'm just starting to trying to fill in some of this stuff. Yes, I would love to allow it access. So 
I have a setup here. Um, so the the existing Firebot code is built on Angular JS, which is legacy Angular, which is like Angular one dot whatever. Um, that's old Angular. Current Angular is like on what are we on thirteen now? I think something like that. Bro, uh, give it like twenty minutes. We'll be up to sixty nine. That's fair. Nice. Um, so new. Uh, in in old uh in it's all written in JavaScript. New Firebot Firebot version six is all going to be written in React with TypeScript support. And the way that React works is it does um it uh, sixty nine oh nice version nice. What's up, Troll? How you doing, buddy? Um, it does this like inline stuff, which I'm not like. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because, like, you have your JavaScript in here, but then you have, like, tags. Like, you have HTML mixed in. So, like, there's JavaScript. But then there's just HTML. I don't know, man. I just, I don't know how I feel about it. It's just, it's very, it's very like you got, you got peanut butter in my chocolate. You got chocolate on my peanut butter. Kind of thing. It's fine. Like, I'll get used to it. I'm just like, this is weird, man. This is really weird. Where's the project, the package JSON? No, we are using the hero. Well, what are we using those for? We have font icons, free brands, free regular. I don't know. Learn Vue first. Actually, of, of all of those frameworks, Vue was the first one that I learned too. Because um, I learned Vue. Because Vue was one of the few that at the time was still doing, you could still do like fully client side uh, reactive stuff. So I learned Vue first because I didn't have to compile shit. It just all ran in the browser um, just the way it was. So even though the record player does that. There once was a cat with a hungry belly. The name of the cat was Whiskers Jelly. His throat was dry and his bowl was bare. Meow, me furry cats meow. Soon may the kittyman come with birds and mice and some tasty gums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. Hi, Tawny. I even though the player doesn't even uh, plug to work. Technically, the whole thing is portable. Basically, builds his own carrying case. I've seen those, Liz. Those are those are neat. Tawny, how you doing, bud? What's going on tonight? Um, but yeah, this is. This is all the stuff and things. Um, but yeah, I started working on this today, and like I said, like when I got started, there was like dashboard commands, chat feed, and settings. I filled in a bunch of these here just to get them in here. And on this page, there was like general appearance and integrations, and I filled in a bunch of other stuff here. Like none of it, none of it works yet, obviously, but you know. Old fashion with the fact that a great deal of apps are just fancy browsers scares the crap out of me. The browser is too powerful. The browser is too powerful. Oh yeah, I gotta style the I gotta do that too. So yeah, I set up a virtual machine. Um to do development for Firebot 6 and because the environment is very different than Firebot 5. Um, and yeah. Rolled Angular had all the flickering from re rendering for lists. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Uh, where's. Go to the GUI app. Here you go. 
Here's all like your directives and shit. Angular, where you define the module and the directive. And then we've got directives for like for all our components and shit that are in here. Just all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. But it's wild. It's wild, wild stuff. But yeah. So I started playing with version 6 today. I don't know how much I'm going to do on it like right now. Because I know the dev team is still talking about like exactly what they want to do with it. Um, there is in the wiki. There is a... Uh, there's a design. There's a design doc for version six, just to talk about like sort of everything, how it's going to be built, um, and all of this stuff. Like six is gonna since six is like built from the ground up, and there's a lot more people contributing to it than there used to be. We're gonna, you know, have a bunch of extra stuff in here. Pass linting, pass test, must include in pass test, must be passed through code formatter, must adhere to directory structure and file name formatting, see below. And then there's things like anything that's not a React component is going to do like kebab style naming. So like lowercase word dash lowercase word, except for React components, which will be Pascal case. So if you look like in here, you can see how these are like channel rewards. It's all like the words all run together and then each word is capitalized. And that's Pascal case. And so which is which is standard for like React components or TypeScript files in general. Um but then there are other things in here that like the index and these routes and things like that, they're still those are still standard to, to do the kebab style naming services and things like that and then there's the tech explanation that, which kind of just goes into a lot of the the what it, these each things are and why and stuff like that so that's the yep yeah, that's all that stuff <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Ah. yep, 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 yep. What is really nice, though, is that the uh, the way the dev environment is set up for um, for version six, there was a lot of stuff that you had to do for to like get version five up and going. It's not as like bad now. It's it's not as involved. Plus, this has um, this has hot reloading turned on. So if I go in here and I can say, let's make this over here. Watch on small TV across the room is very hard to read code. Yeah, I know, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want this. So like, uh, all right, if I change this integrations here and I go change do 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 do. And change it to integrations. Hey, and automatically. Hey, there's the exclamation point. So, yeah. I don't know how much of version six I'm going to work on tonight. Um, probably not very much at all, just because there's not a lot that I can do right now without talking some of the tech with the rest of the like the the folks that are working on it. Um, but uh, it's you know. It is what it is. Like I said, start working on stuff. <gasps> Lurking while you cook dinner. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Din dins. So yeah, so I might go through and go look at version 5 stuff, like the outstanding stuff. See what's out there. Let's see. Um, I want, I don't want things that are I don't want stuff that's dev complete. I don't want stuff that's 
Release pending. Yep. Well, unify, I mean, look at the event category, being able to group and categorize timers, events, commands, presets, make them all look and act and feel like the event module. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, well, don't you have a... You, you were talking about that today. That's... That's gonna be like a that's gonna be like a Biggs thing. You're gonna have to talk to Biggs about that because I like talk to Biggs and reject about that. And they're the ones that are gonna be able to say yay or nay on that, which I agree. Um, I would like to see my commands in groups off to the left. So what CKY is talking about is here in events, you have event sets. And you can still tag individual things on like, well, I guess you can't tag them. Well, then why the hell are there tags? Oh, it's probably because it's the same UI. Um, so you can have event sets here. And if I want to like, for example, I have an event set for my default alerts, like all the ice bear alerts. And then I have an event set for the retro alerts. So I can turn the retro alerts, like I can enable the entire set, activate the whole set, and then deactivate the um, the defaults. So if I go, let me try something. I'm gonna create a command. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, restrictions, I wonder if it'll do it. There's a thing for it before I add all this shit in, even though I'm going ahead and do it now anyway. Oh, I want this hidden. <sighs> Toggle event set. Oh, I can do that. Okay. Well, that's nice. Okay. I'm going to do... Retro. Actually, let's. Yeah, okay. We're going to do default. Let's come down here, edit the trigger, save. There, that'll bump it to the bottom. So for the default, I want to toggle the event set. I want the default alerts activated. Let's see. Activate default. Let's duplicate this. I'm going to do retro alerts deactivate. Do edit label deactivate retro. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this. Let me save this real quick. Event set. Now for the retro, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna paste those effects in. And we're gonna do this the other way. So retro will activate and we'll change this label. Activate retro. I'm gonna deactivate default. And go in and change it to deactivate the default. There we go. So if I go to my events now, let me try and chat. New goal, portable solar panel charger, two portable power banks for record player while camping in outdoor market shenanigans. Oh, that sounds fun. Let's see, so I should, okay. Cool, okay, so that'll toggle now. All right, that's good, that works. That's one less thing that I gotta do. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm honestly I'm I'm kind of proud of the OBS remote commands. Like so the idea came to me cuz it's really it's, it's frankly it's kind of a terrible and, and dangerous and stupid idea. Um but the it came to me cuz I was on the way home from um Bean's car has an issue like her the back the back like lift gate um, doesn't open and shut on its own. So, um, 
So the um, she took it to the dealership. They took a look at it, said it was a body. It's body work they don't do there. So she had to go pick it up. Well, she went to go pick it up, but like they didn't have the paperwork ready for it, and they didn't have it to where they could close the door right and blah, blah, blah. So she couldn't take it home, and we sat around for like, I don't know, fucking... 20 minutes trying to figure all this sh while they were trying to figure all this shit out. Hi, Nova. Um, and so the, um, so like I'm on the way home. This is Monday. And so I'm on the way home and I'm like, I have to be like stream starts in like 20 minutes and then like stream starts in 15 minutes. So I walked in the door at like seven twenty two or something like that um so um oh it's okay no it's it's car troubles it happens um so like i walk in the door and like on the way home like while we're standing there i do a lot of i was doing a lot of the prep work that i do beforehand like getting all the twitch info set and like getting the tweet ready to go out and blah 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 and so I'm like, what if I could just start all this shit remotely? Like, why, why couldn't I do that? So I went through and I was like, okay, I want to do, so it's like, I have a, I have a section of my discord that's for like my crew, like, like my mods and, and like my, my trusted folks, you know, that I, I talk to them about, and I make sure that I, my, my ideas aren't too dangerous and or stupid. And so I said, remind me to do this thing. I sent it in the chat and. And so they reminded me several times as they are, as they are excellent about doing. Um, and so, um, <laughs> that's one way of putting it. <laughs> they just like to annoy the shit out of me really is what it is. But you, you do like dangerous and stupid. It's true. It's true. Keep thinking you should work on code for your channel, but you remember that all I really care about is just playing games. Listen, Fritz, you get, do what makes you happy, buddy. Like you, you got to do the thing that makes you happy. Um, you gotta, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's all there is to it. Um, so I was like, I want remote, you know, that's when I was like, I want the remote commands for OBS. So like, it, just in case I can get OBS launched, ready and like good to go. And while the countdown runs, I can finish what I need to do or get settled in or whatever. So that's when I made that. So yeah, in CKY I did add some stuff to the uh to um the OBS script that Biggs wrote. Cottage Pie is the other Yes, Cottage Pie. Um so like stuff like virtual cam control, scene collection control. Uh that's the stuff that I added in recently. So that's there is a one dot six version of uh Biggs's um OBS control script out there. Um, also, I think I think Perry added in something for turning logging on and off. Well, it's not it's not in the main it's not in the main Firebot repo. It's in it's in uh, Bigs' stuff. So uh, yes, Nova, I am using the OBS WebSocket stuff. So um, so the script that Bigs wrote. Um, I'll go. I'll show you. So again, Biggs, one of the developers of uh, Firebot, actually wrote this script, um, this OBS control script, which uses the OBS WebSocket um, stuff. Um, yes, Biggs compiled it and released it. There is a release out there. Yep, it's right there. So releases, release 160, released yesterday. It is out there. So yes, yes, it's, it's out there. It's good to go. Uh, the only thing that you have to do is... You have to make sure you, that you are on latest. It's 491, which has been out for months now. But make sure you're on the 491 version of the WebSocket plugin. Um, so, yeah. So, I added in virtual camera support and scene collections and stuff. I just added the hooks in. Like, the, the WebSocket stuff already supports all of this. It just didn't have it in the Firebot script. So, I just added in... Uh, this is an example of how to build JavaScript things with Firebot Nova. Yes, this is fantastic. So Biggs actually generated this from, there's a custom script starter. 
um, that's in here and it's got some really cool stuff. Um, Biggs is, is Biggs is more involved. So he actually has some cool stuff in his like, um, where is his, well, no, maybe he does have, maybe the, the starter does have it. Oh yeah, I guess the starter does have it. So the Firebot custom scripts starter. So custom scripts are ways to add your own integrations into Firebot, like the OBS stuff. For example, uh, let me go to my test command and I'll show you. So there's all this OBS stuff. There are OBS effects that are in here. Things like changing scenes, starting and stopping streams, starting and stopping the virtual camera, toggling mutes and source visibility and all this shit. Um, CKY, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, no, if you want to, if you want to fork it, you can. Now that's, this is probably, this is probably overkill for what you want to do. Um, cause you probably just want to do like some stuff like show HTML where you can show an HTML snippet in the overlay. Um, I, I want to say that like. I want to say that you can send JavaScript through this and CKY just went lurk, but if he comes back, he can, because I'm, I'm pretty sure he has done this before where he sent custom JavaScript in the, uh, oh my Nova, uh, where you can send, because I mean, you could just, you could just probably just add in a s script tag. I'm sure you can probably just do that. Um, but um, you probably won't just want to use the show HTML effect and do it that way for the thing that you want to do for like custom HTML and JavaScript stuff. This is for like adding full on integrations is what that's for. So things like, again, these effects that are added in here, those come from that custom script. Um, in the, the log message here, you can see I have like an OBS scene collection name. There's a couple of OBS variables that are in here, like the current scene name, the current scene collection. Um, those come from the integration. Those come from the script. Um, so that's the ways to like augment Firebot functionality, not necessarily just to like show stuff. Um, so that's, that's what this is. That's what Biggs' script does is it, it's, it does this. And what's cool is there's this copy build that's in here. And so what copy build does, copy build is great. It will try to go get the Firebot scripts folder path for whatever your your um, your like main profile is, and it will go and drop the compiled script into your Firebot scripts folder. So all you have to do is close and reopen Firebot, and, and the new version that you just built is there to test and see if it works which is really, really fucking handy. Um, like it's, it's just so nice. Cause like I was doing like building it and then copying it over and then it's like, no, you don't have to do that. There's a script for that. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's, I like that. I'm a big fan of that. What's that? Oh, that's just my user folder and I don't need that either. And those are my setups. So yeah, Nova, what you probably want to do for what you're doing is if you want to do like some kind of fancy showing a thing in the overlay, then you would do like a show HTML where you can show custom HTML in the snippet uh, or custom HTML snippet in the overlay, write out your HTML, have it do its thing for however long. Um, and if you want to do like, you know, whatever fancy stuff that you want to do in here, you can add it all in and everything that you can use all the replacement variables and shit like that. Um, and then what you can do is say, I save it as this test command. Then what you can do is you can go and create a setup and all the setup is, is a collection of like commands, counters, currencies, effects, like all effect cues, like preset effect lists, um, viewer roles, quick actions, all this stuff. And you can go put it together in this thing. And then even better, you can do import questions with like replacement tokens. And you can even say, okay, um, like if I put like, 
Well, here, I'll show you one. So this is my shout out with my with custom message. So it has an import question. Uh, well, I guess I can just show you what it looks like when I try to import it. If I do the import, go to stream files, uh, wait, streaming, Firebot setups. Okay, so this is shout out with custom message and sound. So it creates a shout out command with a default shout out message that also allows you to set user metadata um, to specify both a custom shout out message. Um, and there's a custom shout out message and custom shout out message too, and custom shout out sound. Then it adds the shout out command, and then it asks here, what's your default shout out message? And here's what it adds, okay? Um, that's the default text that it'll do, just to give you something to start with. So what I have in the file is, you can see that there's like a default shout out message token that I've put here between percent signs just to have something like that works. And then up here, I have all this stuff about how that works. And if there's not like custom shout out messages for them, um, then I show the default shout out message. And I just, whenever you import it, you put in the thing it'll replace it in here and then voila <gasps> gonna lurk because dinner okay i love you nova enjoy your din dins Mwah. anyway all the firebot setup is is just a json file with like all the data in it hmm I have one here for like, Pup was asking for a couple of things to do like, um, just some common stuff. So like, here's one for like a lurk and unlurk command. So it'll put in the lurk message and an unlurk message. It has for like unlurk, you can do like exclamation back. For lurk, you can do like lurk and BRB, all that shit. And then when you import it, it'll say, hey, what's your default lurk message? Thanks for the lurk. What's your default unlink message? Welcome back. And does all that shit. It's just, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I've been playing with Firebot a lot lately. I mean, obviously, y'all know that. You know. I like it. What? I know. I know. It's... It's... It's wild stuff. I feel like I've been talking a lot. I feel like I've been talking too much. Your stream, bud. You're allowed to talk. I mean, I know. I just, you know. I don't want to talk too much. Krakow is the human equivalent of herpes. Best friend Mo's not wrong. Oh, I have to go through and change Elena's name in the quote database because she actually got Elena. Oh, I wasn't paying attention because you're not parrots. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, that's not shenanigans. That's death. <laughs> My pockets are too full of meat. I'm Captain Fucking Hoppers. That started, Jesus Christ, January of last year. Incredible. Incredible. Ugh. Anyway. That's that's enough of me talking for a few minutes. How are y'all? Other than Liz, who got an amazing portable record player set up for her birthday. And and her sushi and her cracker barrel. How are the rest of y'all doing? What is uh what is going on with you? Oh you know. Stuff and things. <laughs> that's fair. 
This is the code for, oh, wait. Should I add more stuff to the OBS control? I probably should. What would I add? I guess I could add more variables. Um, you miss your Ralph. Where's Ralph? Where's what's Ralph doing? Oh, he's oh, that's right. He's on his, he's on his his oh, oh Danielle. Yeah, I was gonna say he's he, that started. Oh, when's he get back? That you're not a pathetic baby. Listen, that's you're you're doing no different than Bean would if I left for several days. You meet him in Houston on June third. Oh God, that's a while. Oh, honey, that's yeah, I yeah, that's four whole weeks. Yeah, that's that is a while. I listen. I don't blame you. I'd probably be pathetic too. Let's see. Where's the Where's the OBS WebSocket code? Uh, I don't want that. I want the Yeah, that's what I want. I want OBS WebSocket. Let's go in here. I want the version for current. They have like, they're working on version five, which I don't know all the differences in version five, but like, what version are we on? 27.2.4? Yeah. Measure the feature complete. See the to-do below for missing requests. I don't see the to do. Oh, there it there is. There to do. Dang. To reach feature parity with 4x, as such, all that's left to do is implement the projector and output requests. People generally use these, etc. It's beta 1 with them not included for now. And before 5 was released. Warning this may be incomplete. Implement a request. Let's see. Uh, get record directory, remove input, set input audio balance, get. Oh. Ooh, very nice. Hi, Louie. How you doing, buddy? You have vodka, jelly bean, pomegranate, Cosmo mix, and a touch of water. Oh, 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 nice, nice. Threw a Mickey Mouse straw and a pink glitter tumbler. Also, lots of ice. Liz, babe, you're living your best life, and I applaud you for it. Louie, how, uh, how you doing tonight, buddy? What's going on with you? Yeah, this is a lot of stuff that's in here. We got the source filter stuff already in there, right? I think so. Toggle source filter. Yeah, this has got all the source filter stuff that's in here. I'm just trying to think what else we would do. Because, like, there's a lot of stuff. Huh. I guess I could add more variables. Things like get the virtual cam status gets certain things i don't know it's your week of your birthday you are spoiling yourself as well you should as well you should friend you deserve it not bad not bad laying i'm not able to sleep but outside yeah i know i know that feeling i've been there i know how that feels implemented events uh let me see something here I'm gonna collapse that. OBS scene changed, OBS stream started, OBS stream stopped. Okay. And someone raised your channel. I wonder, I don't think there's a, like a, I wonder what my raid command, if I did, not to mention finals next week and celebrating classes being finished for this semester. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking 
be done with that shit. Oh, I need to change. I'm gonna do this. Let's see. Maybe over engineering this again. Who's over engineering? You? Yeah, probably. Oh, well, that's fair. Let's see how this looks in chat. I wanna see. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. We're we're keeping that. Yeah, so the raid thing is cool because what happens is the raid message, it'll spit out the raid message, but also if I tag someone like a like a another streamer, Louis, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Then it'll actually raid out to that person. It'll do the shout out for that person and it'll do the raid message, which is pretty cool. There's only, this is, if there are some commands, this is only triggered when the user does not provide any arguments. Right. Cool. Cool. I like it. Thank you, Liz. I'm, I'm a big fan of it, honestly. I like it quite a bit. And I'm not just saying that because I came up with it. Oh. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've updated the raid message. I'm just trying to think what else we can add into the... The WebSocket code, the WebSocket script, because there's not much else that I think we would really want in there unless someone asks for it, but like... Can I start and stop recording? Start, stop recording. Oh, there's pause and resume recording. Oh. I'd like to think so, Liz. I'd like to think that ACDC would appreciate it. Oh, you can set recording folder. Let's see, I wanna see what other settings I can do here. This is to change the profile. I don't necessarily want that. Streaming. Get streaming status, start, stop streaming, start streaming, stop streaming, which. That's streaming settings. She's coming streaming server settings. I wonder if it'll do. I don't know. I'm really curious. Can I? I can set stream settings. Can I get stream settings? I can. I can. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Like 20 copies of different ACDC records. Fuck yeah. I'd probably snap those up if I had a turntable. Yeah, I wonder how this works. There's like bandwidth test mode for Twitch. Oh shit, Viv. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, that looks uh that looks pretty goddamn good, buddy.
pretty goddamn good. Oh man, I feel so like oh. Hmm. My eyeballs are being funky tonight. Oh. Huh? I hate it when that happens. Huh? Yeah, just like Yeah, but like I'm used to it. I love you. Did Kitty gas you out a third time yet? She got you a third time? Nice. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff here that's just like a lot to take on. Like, monitor a text file for updates or changes. That's... That seems like a lot. What's this about the Louvre doing the scrim at 5 a.m.? Oh my god, listen. Listen, this cat. She was singing the song of her people. And she was singing it so that the neighbors could hear it. Obviously they could, and she's a very small cat. But fuck, boy, did we hear it. Let's see. I don't know about that command received event. What is this? Let's close out some of this stuff. I don't think I'm going to do any of that now. Remove emotes to the settings of the TTS. Please add a filter. That's, yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing. Mod access panel, that's, oh, that's going to be a doozy. Rank in a given currency didn't. Isn't there a thing for this? Oh, maybe there's not. Where's. All right, I want, I don't want my effects. I don't want my database. Actually, I do want my database. I want the currency database. I want the currency manager. Oh. I have variables built in. Uh, <clears throat> how much of a given currency the current the, the given user has? So we want like a currency rank. What we want? There's the user rank and a currency currency rank. There we go. Obviously, this can be done with a loop effect. I thought it would be easier if there was a variable to use, something like currency rank, currency name. Papa? A boy? <gasps> is, that a, is, is that a very good boy? He, he does his best. Him's such a good boy. Listen, him, him sometimes do the bork borks. He just tries to try, try to do a heck and protect. Like, hey, buddy, stuff's going on. He's trying to let you know. <laughs> You're able to reference the user's rank and then currency. Okay, I mean, I guess we could do this. So, all right, let's. Okay, let's go open. Let's copy and pasta it. I'm gonna call this. Currency rank. Oh, I should probably start a new branch for this. Actually, do I have the latest? Get get over here. I do, right? Where's my V5 tree? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, fetch and merge. All right, let's let's fetch this, bring it down, and we're gonna do zender slash chicken button. Oh, Viv, 
Viv, Liz's new record player is very nice. Uh, we're going to say, what is this? Currency rank. Your new branch. Okay. Currency rank. Description. Turns. Rank. Returns the rank the given returns the rank of the given user based on how much of the given currency they have. Okay. Currency rank. Currency name, username, perfect. Uh, that is their this is a user and a number. This will be a number output. Oh Ayla, thank you for the lurk. I love you so much. Mwah. Okay. <clears throat> what does currency manager actually do this is the timer it does all the oh this is just like the timer and the changes and shit and this isn't reading what we want to do that's what we want to do is read from it oh pup love you let's see Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the stuff that I worked on the other day. Okay. Oh, and you broke it. Me? I don't know. I'm just talking shit. That's fair. Okay. Async function get user currency rank username or ID. Uh, right. Let's do currency ID username or ID is username equals false. Right? Yes. Oh. Oh, we do it like that, do we? Really? Oh, we do it by name. We actually do it by name. Okay. Fine. We're going to come back down here. Ah. Uh. No, oh, you know what? I'm fine with this. I'm I'm fine with it doing it like this. Why are you yelling? Oh. Okay. So let's see. Return new. Oh, I guess no. I don't have to do that. Uh, if. Uh, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing that? Return. Not to resolve because it's a, not a promise. Async. Go zero. Okay. <gasps> Steve! Steve, how you doing, buddy? What's going on tonight? Uh, let's see. All right. Okay. Let's see, JavaScript, get array, 
index. Oh yeah, I guess I could find index. Prototype find index. Hey, look at that. That should be two. All right, no, that's fine. All right, we can do that. We could do it this way. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, that's the OBS stuff. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and close this because I don't think like what is this? That's all it is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Time to be out. Go for go. Came in and meowed and walked away. Take the hat off. And get a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't fart. <laughs> no, she just walked in and was like, "Bitch," <laughs> and then kept walking. <laughs> Fair. Hey, streamer, streamer. <laughs> You love seeing JavaScript code by non-JavaScript programmers, though. Listen, I'm not a I'm not a JavaScript programmer. I don't fucking. I don't you fucking... love JavaScript. What are you talking about? You shut your whore mouth. You shut your whore mouth. All right, so let's. Don't lie. JavaScript's your fave. Listen, I'm I'm. Ah, let me do that. What are you what are you angry about? Oh, you're angry about those things. All right, I don't care. Uh It top currency holders. That's fine. So we have our sort object, we have our projection object. Okay. I come in here. I don't want a limit. I'm gonna return zero here. Okay, brackets. I make colons. Okay, you made the cottage pie was positively bussin', my dear. Well done, Viv. I, I expected no less, frankly. So we sort, we project. And then here, I will get return... Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. This is dot find index. We'll go. Oh, what is this? Name equals username. Or no, no, because we're gonna have to do. We have a username or ID elsewhere. Where else do we do username or ID? There's somewhere else up, up fucking here where we do it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Right. We don't ha why are we doing this? That seems pointless. 
buddy. What are you doing? Hope you want some pets. Okay, goodbye. Did she come back around just to call you a bitch again? Yes, probably so. Mm -hmm. That's just that's just a thing now, by the way, in case you didn't know. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Uh Lolly has a whore mouth. That's that's true. That's true. Daisy Kitty has a name. Oh no, poor kitty. Oh, what, Viv? God damn it, what? What do you want? Well, tell him what he wants, what he really, really wants. Oh, I need that. No, I still need that. Damn it. That's why it's there. Uh, actually, no. I don't want this until... I don't care about it until down here. God damn it, Viv. You're why we can't have nice things. You know that, right? Oh, that's not a... Okay. Is this not a... Oh. Okay, I guess I have to do this as a promise then. Frickin' sure, why not? No, I, no, no, no. No, I don't. Oh, you just don't like that I'm not calling anywhere. Well, fuck you. Uh, hot fresh noodles. Welcome in. Tay sent you. We love our Tay. Boy, howdy. We love our Tay. She is just the best. Listen, where's my Tay button? I have a Tay button. That's my Tay button right there. Love that Tay. Welcome in, hot fresh noodles. I'm glad to have you. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 yeah. I, just like, just, it, it was exactly as Liz foretold. I'm like looking at code and getting all distracted and stuff, but I'm very glad you're here. Welcome in, friend. Let's see. Focus. Oh, I shouldn't do that. My eyes are being, my eyes are bugging out. I'm going to copy more shit from the internet. Mm. Internet shit copying. I mean, Fritz has a point. I do get distracted by shiny mm. things. <laughs> oh, Steve. Oh, Steve, you're, you're not wrong, buddy. Okay. Neck bar. 
Oh, you're warning me because of it. Well, fucking whatever. All right. Where are you in the list? After get user currencies? Fine. Get user currencies. And the warning is gone. Thank you very much. Now. Look at all that colorful text. I know, Hiltzy, right? I know. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Aha, because that returns a number. If I add one to it, it'll still return zero. It'll return zero if they're number one. Yeah, that should work. Okay. All right. Um, this theoretically should work. Return zero. It equals null, return zero. And zero. Okay. The currency rank. It's ID. Username. True. Okay. Yes. Yes. I like this. Your brief university life taking a double major in math and physics. I took programming. They decided to teach us. They taught you what, Hiltzy? Okay, and what? No, that's illegal. That's illegal. They not they weren't allowed to do that. They broke the law. That's not legal. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. No. I'm like, boy, this will be helpful. Yeah, right, right. Making a half decent program in language in a sh Listen, no, no, Steve. Steve, Java's, Java's, no. Java's, Java's old and busted. Listen, old Oracle, busted. Or, Oracle got a hold of it. Okay. I don't know what the migration comment means. I'm leaving it out. Okay, so if we don't have a currency name or username, we return zero. We check for currencies. If we can't get currency data, we return zero. We get the user currency rank here. Yes, fine. I'm saying Java. No, 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 no. I'm not saying Java isn't shitty. No, I'm. I would never say that Java is not shitty. How all? Oh, you're gonna play some Ark? Ooh, Hilsey, that sounds fun. I hear people really like Ark. That sounds like a. That sounds like a good old time. I hope you have one of those. Have one of those. Have a listen. If nothing else, have a time, but hopefully it's a good one. I mean, who am I to tell you what kind of time to have? But have a time that is hopefully good. Love you, buddy. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try yeah, user currency rank. We're going to try this. We're going to see how the fuck this works. We're gonna see how this works. Okay. Where's the uh where's the loader?
currency rank. All right. Let's, uh, yes. Let's close the bot and start it back up. Understandable. Have a day. That's right. Listen, again, who am I to tell somebody what kind of data I have? Not my place. It's not my place. Right, we're restarting Firebot. I should probably go in here and uh, assign this to myself. Market in progress. There we go. Uh, well, it loaded the variable, or at least it registered it. Okay. Got to go bleach your brain now. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Steve. But appreciate you, buddy. All right, where's the, uh, let's go get my test command. All right, now... Currency rank returns the rank of the given user based on how much of the given currency they have. Okay. So we're going to go currency rank. I want yikes for I want yikes for viv. Where's my log? Okay, it didn't work. Is it not like that? Did I do it wrong? Did I do it backwards? Currency name, username. I don't have to do it in... I don't, no, it shouldn't that that way. Oh, yeah, Steve, no. Yeah, no, Java's just... Java's terrible. I hate Java. Listen, if you if you use Java and you like it, more power to you. I just, I can't do it. I like C-sharp. It's got all the Java bits without the Java bits. Uh, did it, did it, did it, like, give me anything else? No. I feel like something broke and I don't know about it. Well, you'll find out in due time, I'm sure. Okay. All right, let's try, let's try this. Let's try just currency for yikes for Viv and see what happens. Okay, Viv has 14 yikes. Currency rank. Viv has... Nope, I don't want that one. Just get out of here. It has blank. As long as it's object-oriented, I'm cool with it. Yeah, well, that's the thing, though, Fritz. Uh, I'm more particular. Like... I want it to be strongly typed. JavaScript is not. I love my curly braces. Python does it based on white space. Probably straight Java to the extent that what's Minecraft made of, but these fast rise attempts making other languages in Java it just starts. Yeah. Like straight Java is like just like mm, I just I just really like my C sharp. It's it's a good language. Oh my god, what in the hell is this in my eye? Good lord, you should see the crusties that I just got out of my eye. Holy shit. <laughs> you ever get eye crusties? I sure do. What in the hell is the... Oh, the thing's gone haywire again. Thing, what are you doing over there? Oh, it's lost its mind. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go over and... 
do the news bar loop off for a second and let it just clear out. All right, now let's go back to here. All right, we're gonna do some logging. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Oh, are you about to do what I think you're about to do? Yes! <laughs> oh, reliable. You, listen, you know what? There are, there are fantastic debugging tools out there. None of them work like this does, though, baby. All right, we're going to... All right. See hash don't you Steve, I swear to God. I swear to God. Did some Java for a job and it was and it said oops as I wound. <laughs> See what you did there, Tani. Up up down down left right left right B A start done. I was hired as a C sharp developer man. and was and was made to do Java afterwards and I was having me a sad Oh yeah. Hey, Cor said to call me the working man because I'm, I'm getting rid of the bugs. You see, do you, do you, <laughs> do you get it? It's because they're they're because they're, they're, the working man takes care of the bugs. How about that sports ball team? Right, sports. Sports. Oh. All right, I wanna. Oh, ha, I restarted the bot, so it's going to do your thing all over again. Let me uh, actually go in and disable that for a second. Let's go to... I'm going to just disable that for right now. Yeah. Actually, let's re it. Let's just disable the set right now. We'll come back to it. Yeah. Okay, now I want to come in here and I want in here I want console.log docs. Oh, we're going to log the whole thing. Did you hear that? What? See that? Viv Viv wants coding ASMR. You're here for the coding. You're here for the commentary. Ooh. The best kind of Java is call. Oh, yeah, that's 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 the goddamn truth. A bane of arthropods infinity. Ha ha ha. Uh. That's well, pop. That's because code is terrible, and no one should do it. Absolutely, no one should code. Just. No one should ever code. Log it, log it, log it. I got a log for you. Bet something. you do. I don't know. Yeah. You ever seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Mm, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> not saying I have a log, you know. It's a log in the sense that you think I said it. And... Oh boy, wouldn't be the holiday season if the stores were any hooter, hotter than they already are. That's a twig, not a log. Ouch. <laughs> it's big. It's heavy. It's wood. Ah. Uh. Alright, we're gonna... We're going to see how this goes. All right.
Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh ho, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's start her back up. You thought we'll have something to say about this later? All right, now let's go in here, find our log message, and run it again. Now let's go see all of this shit. Oh my god, look at look at all of that. Yikes, there's the currency ID, there's your name, there's Viv's user data. Man, what the hell? Oh, you know what I'm gonna have to do? Oh, I know what it's doing. I I know what's happening. I know what's happening. Can I await this? Oh, we? No. Can I not? Okay. Let me see something. Do we have? Oh, shit. Oh. That's why. Yes, you have two more currency than Lollipop. That's true. That's true. You have two more yikes than Lollipop. Congratulations on being cringier than the guy who lives up in the corner. Well done. Well done. I want to run for console.log. There's outputs and ask you log into the console every time it's called. Oh my god, okay. Okay, Steve, would that be hilarious, though? That'd be hilarious. Alright. So... <sighs> Let me see something. What are you doing? Oh, I guess I... Okay. No, <laughs> you're... You think's having a, having a day again, bud? Listen. I'm gonna have to do it as a promise. Uh, all right, fine, fine. Oh, what's the syntax for promise? Alright, now we're gonna have to go up here and go do all this this way. And we don't await anything. Alright, um... So it's fine. It's just that, okay. Oh my god, it has to be wrapped in promises because it doesn't fucking have its own. Oh, this is what Reject was talking about. <sighs> I'll be glad when we can start on version 6. 
and move to a different database system. Okay, and now, yep, that's it. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. into this programming world, do you mind if I ask what are you coding and what language is this? Sure, so, um, I am working on the bot that I use for stream. It's called Firebot. Um, this is Firebot here. Um, it's an open source project. Anybody can go and contribute to it, and I have been. Um, if you go to firebot.app, you can go here, um, take a look at it, see some of the features that it has, uh, like its effect system, which is really like the big deal. But there's all kinds of stuff that it can do. There's a bunch of testimonials down here from folks that use Firebot, including me. Hey, look, it says I'm live now. Uh, and also... Best friend Mo, who is also live now. Uh, stuff like that. Um, so, but again, Firebot is open source, so anyone can contribute to it. Um, it's kind of a project that I um, finally, oh hi. Uh, it's a project that um, I kind of latched onto a while back and um, I'm been a big fan of now for a little bit. Um, and it's currently written in JavaScript. So it's an Electron app. Uh, Electron is basically a it's an application, um, runs on Node.js. Um, the front end is, it's Chrome, is what it is. So it's Chrome, it, like, I can open the Chrome dev tools from inside the bot. Um, I can actually even go here and dock it back into the bot. Like, it's, it's essentially a Chrome container to show the UI. Um, but it's this is written HTML, JavaScript. The framework that Firebot uses is uh, Angular JS, which is legacy Angular 1.x. Um, basically, Angular JS was 1.0. Angular today is um, has been rewritten quite a bit. Um, Angular JS still maintains a lot of the the original syntax that it had, so it's still in use by a lot of applications, and that's what Firebot version five currently uses. Um, and then it's all JavaScript under the hood. That's what I'm doing. News JavaScript under the hood. No, there's no news under. Same, 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 same under taste. Half the calories, no. Same amount of calories. Your face is JavaScript under the hood. Oh. Get riggedy wrecked, son. Oh, wait. I need to not do that. Okay. There we are. Oh! Oh, I see. I didn't even, I didn't even notice the zunder in the middle. See? I told you. My God. brain... Fuzzy, fried, toast. Oh, toast. Butter and toast. Butter toast. I had toast for, for dinner tonight with my chicky tendies. I had chicky tendies and fries and coleslaw and toast. I had more of my chicken and rice for lunch. I need to go turn that thing off. Because you are clearly not. What are you doing? I'm just going to toggle you off because something is just not working right with this. There we go. It is it is a really cool project. Um, it's, it, again, this is the bot that I use like for all of my stream automation stuff. So like Karen just used the flavors command and the bot spit out, you know, all the different crazy flavors that I currently have in stock. Um that's the bot responds with that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, that's, this is the kind of stuff that the bot does and I'm, I dig it. I'm into it. No crazy breaks. Wait, did I, do I have crazy breaks turned off? 
Oh, I had him turned off the other day because, yeah, okay. It should be good now, Karen. You're good. It's meant to be like Sun Tzu. Oh, aha. Okay, see, it makes sense now. It makes sense now. I like that. That's clever. I like that. Uh, okay, where is... All right, where's my test command now? All right, let's go here. All right, this should hopefully work now. Where's my... Uh, can't insert, what do you mean it violates? Who's trying to insert the key? Oh God, do I still have that logging? Am I, am I still logging that? Oh no. Oh, I didn't restart the bot. Oh. Restart the bot. Some yogurt covered ones? Okay, I like that. Here you go. Greek yogurt. Covered craisins. Okay, now we will restart the bot. It's not like you want to teach you the art of war or anything. Baka. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I am implementing something new. Mm. Karen, we were having craisins together. We were having Greek yogurt craisins together. I'm just... It's like we shared a snack together, but like remotely. All right. Well, didn't like that. I didn't like that. And without actually having to share, that's true. Party wants to get into coding, but part of you can't comprehend anything beyond HTML. Viv, it's just one of those things like, it takes time. It's just like anything else. It takes time to like get into this stuff and figure out how it works. If you have a mind for language, which you, Viv, you clearly do. Um, like I've, I've, I know of the the D and D campaign writing that you've done. You have a mind for writing. Really, all coding is is a different set of grammar rules. In English, we have a very specific set of rules, and there are exceptions to a bunch of those rules, but it's how the language is all put together and works. Coding is like that. Coding is just a lot stricter around those rules. Um, uh, Steve, HTML is code. HTML is absolutely fucking coding, and I will not hear otherwise. Absolutely not. HTML is 100% coding. It is front end development. <clears throat> yes, a markup language. The question is whether you enjoy it or want to do something else. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh. You oddly get better at English by coding. You do, Troll. That's, and that's the thing, because coding is very strict. So by learning those strict rules about code, it helps you kind of form that sort of mindset in your head. It's Steve, it's still code. It's still code that is interpreted by the browser to create a user interface. That's it. It's still code. Absolutely still code. Try learning HTML once, failed miserably. Now you're learning C and it's easier. C, like C, like C or C++, I can't do. That's, 
like managing your own memory and like all that like kind of pointers. stuff. Like it's just point. Yeah, pointers for everyday oh. hustling. Oh, holy shit, Karen! Gifting three months to Troll. Thank you, friendo. I appreciate you. Holy shit. Um. But yeah, it it is it's timing being in the right headspace. That's that's absolutely all big parts of it for sure. The line between if some if something requires a compiler is less important nowadays. It really is. It really is. Like and even again, HTML, even HTML is is interpreted. It's an interpreted language. Now, HTML typically is just UI elements, but it's still an interpreted language that the browser engine interprets really not a whole lot differently than say like you know, a JavaScript engine like V8 in a browser interprets the JavaScript and executes it. Um, it just does it differently. Um, not all JavaScript execution is visual. Some of it you don't, you, a lot of it you never see until you, you know, modify the HTML in some way to show that. A program that calculates X. You know what though? You know what though? That's... That's still something. That's something. And learning something, that's a stepping stone to learning something else. That's my thing. Is I like, I'm always I, like, as long as you're learning something, that's the important thing. That's the thing that I care about is as long as you're learning something. Hi, Nova. Nova's back from Dindins. Nova, what'd you have for Dindins? I have to know. Thank you. You said you could watch. <gasps> oh, Nova, she's. No, but she's a very she's a very excellent girlfriend. Always learning, exactly, Troll. Always learning. There, listen. I've been coding. I've been coding professionally for almost ten years. I've been coding as a hobby for thirty years, um, and I am learning new shit every day. Like um, the new, where is it? The, the new version of Firebot, version 6, is in React, which uses TypeScript, which is a superset of JavaScript. It's basically JavaScript with a bunch of added-on stuff. It ends up compiling down into JavaScript so that browsers can execute it. And then on top of that, this is actually TSX, which is a superset of TypeScript that React uses quite a bit to add in like markup of its own into in the middle of all of this TypeScript. So it's just like, it's wild. Polenta with tomato, mushroom, artichoke sauce, meat, candy, and garlic steak. Oh my God, that's Nova. Nova, you are always cooking up some shit, girl. Holy God. Uh, we're gonna disconnect that and we're, I'm gonna just put this thing to, I'm just gonna save it. I'll come back to it later. Um. Oh, Troll, listen, V6 is like, there's a lot of stuff that the dev team has to lay out still. Like, I started working on it, and I started filling in some of the UI bits today just for the shell. And there's so much, like, under the hood stuff that they have to decide how they want to do it. And it's just, yeah, yeah. Everything always was, Code Steve. Everything always was. It always was. There has never been a time in HTML's lifetime that HTML was not code that was interpreted by the browser engine. Ever since like the days of, you know, early days of um, like Mozilla and then before that things like Lynx even, it's still code that is interpreted by the browser. And some browsers display it differently, like, you know, Chrome display stuff differently than say Lynx would, because Lynx was a text only browser. So. You're a text only browser. Ooh, gotcha. I'll Get wrecked. I'll browse your text only. Meat candy is oh, cubed yeah, porterhouse. Yeah, right. Cubed porterhouse from the farm that I do in the oven at 225 all day with maple syrup and barbecue. Oh, Jesus Christ, Nova. The Netscape days. That's right. That's right, Troll. I feel a bit frustrated because I feel so far from my goal of being able to do some freelance work, actually get to the fun stuff like code. You have to scroll to see it all. It's 
but that's that's the thing that's the thing son like it takes time it takes a lot of time to get there like it's as long as you're continuing to learn and building on the things that you're learning you'll get there it it just it's one of those things that it will take a lot of time to do links curl and break see see nova knows what's up links links is a text browser brave that's a you know gui browsers similar to chrome or firefox or edge i st i use edge shocking i know the microsoft guy uses edge go fucking figure i should clarify the microsoft fanboy uses edge so why is it coming in as zero? I feel like it's not erroring out. It's getting here and it's not finding the index. What's edge? Uh, stop that pup. Listen, Troll, you can say FF Edge all you want, but if you use Chrome, you're just using Edge with other shit on top of it. Need to go do some sleepy sleeps. Viv, I love your face. Good night, buddy. Hope you get all Isn't the sleepy sleeps. Like... <clears throat> Isn't it technically more like if you're using Edge, you're just using Chrome with Microsoft stuff on it? Instead of Google stuff? Yeah. Yeah, they take... Because, like... It's... They're both based on Chromium. Okay, Chromium is the open source project that is the browser with like the rendering engine and the JavaScript engine and all that shit that's built to make the browser. Chrome adds a bunch of Google shit on top. Edge adds a bunch of Microsoft shit on top. So it's the it's this web kit for oh God, get out of here with your web kit. Vivian, you stop that. Go to bed. He's not wrong though. He's he's wrong. Your boss at Microsoft built IE and was, yeah, yeah, Nova, yeah. Grew up in the MySpace slash Tumblr days, know enough to cobble together code and do some troubleshooting. You know what? Liz, that's better than nothing. That's better than nothing. Chromium is to browsers as Debian is to Linux. Yes. Yes. Debian is a set of shit on top of the Linux kernel, and there's a bunch of different Linux distributions that add their own shit on top of Debian. Like, isn't Ubuntu Debian based? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, it's been so long. I don't Linux. I don't know how that works. I mean, fair. I am not the adultiest adult. Yeah, it's pick your poison. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's Linux. Oh, God. Nova. No. Nova. Nova. Listen. Stop. I'm not. Okay, listen. Nova knows more about Linux than anybody ever. All right. But listen, Nova, don't you don't you don't you come at me with if you I swear to god, if you say new, I swear to god. I swear the fuck to god, Nova. <laughs> Oh my god, that's just... <laughs> god damn it, Troll. What would you refer to as Fortnite? God. And Gopher, that's true, the Gopher protocol. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Tani knows what I like. You know what I like, bud. You do. Oh, Okay. So obviously it's not finding it. All right, let's let's add some more logging in here. Let's go log user dot username. Okay. Go Gophers. Nice. Get a little salt with your cranberries. I haven't... Oh, it's like, like in the trail mix? Oh, from the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Karen. 
yeah i i really like the trail mix because of that yeah get a little salty with your sweet oh it's so good it's so good it's true or just a meme that you have to write a few lines of code to create a paste in linux oh i that see that's that's a nova question we need more hypertext things in our lives. We just need to bring back, bring hyper back. Yeah. Listen, less, less crypto, more hyper. We need hyper to come back. Make hyper a thing. Beavers and ducks. Beavers and ducks. It's true. The salty cranberries. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, all right, I want to know what the username is. And then in here, I still, I think I still want to do log. Okay, so let's do that. Let's, let's restart it. Roll it up. Miss when crypto meant cryptography. Me too, Tani. Me the fuck too. Hyper crypto. Oh God, Liz, 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 don't. No, no, that hurts my soul. That hurts my soul. All right, let's see here. Um. Forget about movie with Th Thornton in the movie Bandits. Oh man, Billy Bob Thornton, that fucking guy. Okay, now let's go in here. Okay, so I should have. I don't understand what is going on here. Um, um, have you tried violently masturbating? That might help you understand. No. Mm, okay. You're lost. There's Viv. There's Viv's username. I, uh, seven is the answer. Take seven lines of code to make glue in Linux. <laughs> 42 always 42 always 42 all right i have to i have to look at something all right we're gonna we're gonna do this okay we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna put this in here we're we're gonna do some i'm gonna do some stupid shit now all right i'm gonna go Okay, user equals Okay. What in the hell? Troll, you off to sleep. Good night, buddy. I appreciate you hanging out. Hope you have a good night. Especially somebody just want to serve yogurt. Ooh. I like a good cheesecake yogurt myself. How efficient your platform is if you run proof of work miners on it. Oof. Theoretically, 42 is enough lines of code to do just about anything. Well, I mean, within reason. Depends on what those 42, what you're calling, what else you're calling those other 42 lines. New sustainability ordinance. To join and recommend only one thing. Say no to proof of work crypto. Oh yeah. 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 Uh no, I haven't, Nova. I have not. I okay, look, I like plant based stuff is great and all, but like for meat and dairy, like I really like I have to have my meat and my dairy. Like, for God's sake, I have a milk stein. 
like I know you can't really see it, but like there's there's milk in here, like moo cow fuck milk, and I love it so much. I love it. Cow fuck milk. Moo cow fuck milk. So they called you in high school. Wait, what? Okay, so we know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold on. Hold, hold the fuck up. It's not actually getting. Well, wait a second here. Wait a second. What's the user object? That's a Firebot user. It's got a property of username, right? Okay. Let's log the user because I know I know the stuff is there. I don't need. I don't care about the stuff. I don't care about any of this. I know this is all here. Okay, so I didn't even notice the undefined here. So clearly, I'm missing something with the actual user object. Animals, fun to pet, better to chew. I, I, it depends on the animal, but you know. How did I get into coding? Where did I begin to learn and why? So when I was a kid, um, my, I, I basically was raised by my great aunt and great uncle. Um, and my great uncle bought me a computer when I was very young, um, he bought me a Commodore 128 and it came with assorted discs of stuff, but it also came with a user's manual and a programmer's reference. And I started reading the programmer's reference and it's like, you can make the magic box do stuff. So I started making the magic box do stuff and I just kept reading the manual and then I did it. Then I got my first PC. My first like IBM Compat PC, it was a Packard Bell 450 CD. It had an Intel 486 uh, DX, no, SX2, running 50 megahertz, four megs of RAM, 405 meg hard drive, and a quad speed CD-ROM drive. Why do I know the specs to that machine 30 years later? Don't know. Don't ask me. Windows 3.11 for work groups. But basically, Tani, yeah. Um, but I installed Windows 95 on with 4 megs of RAM, and everybody told me I was crazy, but I did it anyway. I did have to upgrade the CPU, though, which I did myself at, like, I don't know, like, 9? Because I was like, here's a chip. Pop it open. It fits in, like, a little arm. It pops up. You put it back in. There you go. Done. Ta-da! Uh, I mean, I started making the magic box do stuff. That's what, listen, Nova, that's what we do. We boop the computer and we make the magic box do stuff. So I upgraded it to a 46DX2 because you could not install Windows 95 unless your CPU had a math coprocessor, which means the minimum requirements for Windows 95 was a 486DX or higher. Uh, no, that one actually didn't have a turbo button. No, it did not. Brain with two working trash 80s network together. Um, oh, Warp Bear, that's so fucking cool. That's amazing. Um, okay, let me let me reboot this real quick. Because I want to get this working tonight. And I feel like we're almost there. Um, so anyway, so yeah, like then when I got my first PC, it had... DOS 6.2.2, Windows 3.1.1, and so because it had DOS 6.2.2, it had QBasic on it. So I started learning QBasic because the Commodore 128 was like Commodore Basic, which was also written by Microsoft. So it was, you know, a lot of it was similar in syntax. But QBasic had like functions and subroutines, which was hilarious to me because I learned that in QBasic, the difference between a function and a sub is literally the is whether that returns a value or not. That's it. 
So the equivalent in like a, a modern language is a sub returns a void, whereas a function actually returns a value of some type, whether it's a string, numeric, whatever. But uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. Yep. All right, now let's look at this user object. Promise pin. Oh, son of a. Oh. Can't wait. Can I? Can I do this? Or can I do this? Can I? Can is this legal? This is not legal. Now it's regular bedtime. Night night, Nova. I love you. Oh wait, I'll never forget when I learned that a company had changed how computers acted for money reasons. I've never been able to go let it go. Yeah, yeah. A boy in his magic box. Honestly, that's kind of that's yeah. Like it's that makes it sound a lot more glamorous than it really is. But I was. I'm just. I am still to this day. 30 plus years later, just some kid who rolls his face across a keyboard to see if the magic box will do stuff. Oh, my green says it's night night time. Ayla, listen, I love you. Go, go get some rest and go feel better. I love you very, very much. I love you very, very much. Ah. Tony, you be careful driving. You be safe. All right, so that's what's happening. That's, but I can't await this here. Uh, can I do, well, is this legal? No, that's not legal either. Right for promise, right? Okay. Encounter execution pause until the promise is settled, that is fulfilled or rejected. All right. Okay. So I can't do. Oh wait, wait. I go. Ugh. No. Oh, for God's sake. How's one go from how's how does going from one language to another work? Is it just syntax? For the most part, yeah. Yeah, like a lot of the core principles are the same. Now there are gonna be things between different languages that aren't going to be the same. For example, JavaScript is what you call a loosely or weakly typed language, which means a value can be just about anything you want it to be depending on the context. Like the number one can be a number. You can use it in a math statement, like in a math equation, or it could be a, a, like a string of text. Just depends on the context and kind of the magic that you do with it under the hood. Um, as opposed to something like C, which is a strongly typed language where you have to define things like ints or shorts or, you know, chars or whatever. Um, but, you know, a lot of it is syntax and just learning how a particular language works. For example, in JavaScript and C languages, curly braces like this denote um, block scope to say everything inside of this block runs together. Okay. Um, and anything outside of this is in a different scope in languages like Python. Um, Python does it via white space. So depending on where it's indented, 
will determine what the block is because you can visually see the block. So, but that's also part of syntax. So it's just learning what each language's syntax is and kind of how it goes. Is the way on its own. Using a wait within a promise. Oh, look, it's Stack Overflow. Let's see what it's in. A new anti pattern results in creating two promise objects instead of one on caught air. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, hey, I wonder, can I, that's not going to do anything though. So I still, I want to make this async. I want to make this an async function. Like, God damn it. I want it async. Why are you angry? Oh, you're angry because of the indents. Ah. Okay, there you go. I don't care about the resolve. I want to see if there's a DB find that we use inside of a... These are all inside of, they're all inside of promises. It, like I can't do, I can't await this, can I? Uh, yeah, see, that's the thing that I'm trying to figure out. A bit worried going, learning C while I knew it existed. I almost never heard of it, just about C++ and C Sharp. C languages, kind of by their design, like, C++ is C with a bunch of shit added to it. C Sharp is, it's a completely different language altogether, but it's built to be structured like C-like syntax. So if you go from C to C++, there's additional stuff that you're going to have to learn, but it'll make sense. Um, if you go from C to C Sharp, there's going to be a lot of fundamental changes because C Sharp is what you call it a man, what you call a managed language. So you don't typically do things like you don't allocate your memory and then deallocate it when you're done with an object. Um, the runtime, the, the .NET runtime will do that for you because C Sharp is a managed language. That's what it does. Um, so it's got its own like garbage collection process for taking care of uh, data that's like out of scope. Um, but again, the syntax is going to be similar. Um, so you'll see things like curly braces and lots of parentheses and semicolons and stuff like that. It's, it's, it'll feel familiar, at least in syntax, not necessarily in functionality. But, you know, it is what it is. Like, I feel like there's something that I'm just missing here. Like.
Can I do... No, that 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 wouldn't work, right? That's, that's just stupid. Yeah, that's 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 stupid. I don't know why I did that. All right, well, this is this is the best I'm going to do, I think. C was procedural, C++ was object based and that was the main difference. Yes. Yes, that's that's very true. C it's C++ is object oriented C is like the big thing. Yep. All right, let's give this one more go. Probably not gonna work. Yeah, it's, it's not working. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how I can make this Yep. That's gonna be that's gonna be the weird one. Alright, well any whoosie what's it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Alright, let's uh Ooh, I can use the command for this. And voila, code's gone. I like being able to do commands like that. That's I still think it's dangerous and stupid. Um, hey, thank y'all for hanging out tonight. I appreciate it. Um, I know tonight was a little weird, but I'm enjoying it. I like I like code and stuff. Just gotta figure out this thing and yeah, be good. Ice bear, good. Be good. More ice bear, more good. Son, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, and I appreciate I, I'm I'm I enjoy talking with you tonight. Um. Thank you all for hanging out um, again. Uh, let's see. What do we got going on? Friday is Minecraft Dungeons for you pick. Sunday is Retro Night. I'm going to finish up Super Mario World, get it all 100%. Uh, Monday is Final Fantasy 14, and Wednesday I'll be back here doing this again. Um, what? Oh, oh, Karen says I have to wait. Wait. Oh, no. Nope. Karen says I have to wait. No, nope, I got to wait. I got to wait. Well, we got to see what's going on. Absolutely, son. Thanks for coming by, and I appreciate you stopping in. Absolutely, Liz. Thank you for being here. Karen says I have to wait, though. I can't. I can't do anything else until. Oh, Karen says never. Okay, Karen says never mind. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Um. Let's see. What? Who's doing what tonight? Uh. Oh yeah. Best friend Mo is doing her serial killer, true crime, trim. Oh my god, her face is just priceless. It's fantastic. Uh, you know who's streaming who we don't ever get to go raid? Mm. Gibbs Uwu. Woo. Alright, we're gonna go... Go raid. We're gonna go raid the Gibbs Uwu. Because we love the Gibbs Uwu. And she is just a sweet, precious angel baby. She's been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts lately. Hey, look, there's an updated raid message with the new Ice Bear emotes. Um, hey, thank you all again for hanging out. I love you, Karen, and I appreciate all of you all hanging out. Um, all right, let's get out of here. Let's go give, give, some, uh, give Gibbs some love, and I'm going to just go because I am one very tired Ice Bear. So I will see you all on, when, or on Friday, Jesus, for Minecraft Dungeons. All right, I love you. Bye. <laughs>